Uh, what we've got to do in engineering is interpreting information and looking at the uh, cranked or bent um, the support arm for the uh, bike stand and there's a dimension that's missing so it kind of gets you thinking really about how you're going to find out what the true length of this diagonal piece is you've got a length of it looking straight down on it but you don't have a uh, true length of the diagonal piece so we have to use a bit of maths okay and a lot of maths in engineering so bear with me I've done a, a drawing of it on the board so it's a bit clearer to see. Uh, don't worry too much about these end pieces. We're worried about the length of this diagonal by here. So that diagonal forms a right angled triangle. So go to your math skills, okay? You've got to use trigonometry. This is the right angle in the corner. This angle here uh, is the one we know. It's dimensioned on the drawing as 30 degrees. So that's 30 is the angle. And we know the length of two of the sides actually so we know the length of the angle of the sides opposite the angle so that's the opposite side we know that's 14. we also know the length of the uh, side which is adjacent to or next to that which is 25. so we know one more piece of information that we need really we need to get away with one of these lengths so you know think about your trigonometry uh, calculations right so you've got so car and toa right so we want to find the length of the opposite the, the, the remaining side which has got to be because we know the opposite we know the adjacent so the last one's going to be the hypotenuse right so we want to find the hypotenuse like we can't find the hypotenuse using tangent rule so we're going to have to use either the sine or cosine rule so pick one right let's go for cosine so cos cosine 30 equals the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse of so 25 over the hypotenuse so crunch that into your calculator work out what cos 30 is then rearrange your equation and i think you'll find an answer of about 28.87 don't forget your units millimeters right so the true length of that side is 28.87 you're going to do some rounding uh, your tolerance, general tolerance is 0.3, remember? So that's the size that you're going to put in. So when you flatten that bar out, you're going to have to do some adding up now, right? With this number involved as well. So from this end, you've got 12 millimetres to the first centre. So 12 plus 60 plus 48. Ignore the 25. That's not a true length. The size we want for that is 28. Unless you get a round up, 29. 40, 58, and then at the end you've got another radius 12. Add those lengths up and we'll have the folded flat length of the steel bar that you need to make two of, don't forget, all right? Hope that helps, and hopefully you can see that bit there. All right, bring it up a bit higher. You gotta do that calculation yourself.